When we take out the, the role of the male and female beef industry and we looked at epic structure, muscularity, you know, it's a money industry. There's two uh, animals here, by the way, who go ahead in the breed and, uh, and really contribute. We just talked about the bull, that amazing uh, hind quarter of the hip and hip placement is outstanding. He's showing beautiful muscle expression through that spiral thigh. He's tiny underneath, he's got a very refined front end, a lovely neck extension. And when you look at him, he looks like a sire. I think uh, when you get to your stuff of the tires of a breeding that next one, the bulls are going out to the commercial industry for these and that's the wind in our miles. The female, she's there with a car cut forward and she really is a refined uh, female when you look at the front end. But when I say refined, I don't think she's fine bone or anything. She's got lovely bone and she goes to a beautiful hind curve supporting another underneath. I love that top line on that female, the outer Really, this is a very subjective class, and in the old days, we would have said that uh, Bill can do AIs, and he's going to have more influence. In BT, we can say the cow can have just as much influence, and uh, it comes down to then what the breed is going to choose to make to these animals. It really is a very difficult decision because we've got two outstanding exhibits here. Today, the supreme exhibit will be the female. The cow's three and a half year old. Um, yeah, she actually she got uh, June champion of Brisbane as a heifer, and then she went on to win the breed matron of Australia at Brisbane. Uh, that's as a cow and calf last year, um, and she got second in the breed up there and in a breed pair. And yeah, then she's come back here. This is her first show back out this year. So.